Good morning and welcome to Food for Thought for Monday the 22nd of March 2021. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church. Welcome. Glad that you could join me for devotions this morning. We're continuing our journey through the parables of Christ. And today, uh, the parable of Jesus that we're looking at is the parable of the dragnet. And that's found in Matthew uh, chapter 13, 47 to 50. So in this parable, Jesus said this, Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore and then sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So we see that history winds down when God decides that the net is full. So um, it's like the earth was created for a harvest of righteousness. And God is, he's designed the universe with those that would be his children in mind. And he wants as many as possible to come. But amongst the children of God, there will be those that uh, don't believe. As a matter of fact, there's more that don't believe than do believe. Um, in this parable, Jesus describes the affairs of the state of the world. And in Hebrews chapter 9, 27 to 29, it's written this. Just as man is appointed to die once and after that to face judgment, so also Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. And he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to to those who eagerly await him. So the kingdom of God has come down to men from the time that Jesus left the earth uh, and the time he established his church with the apostles. Through the ages, um, the believers are in the world and um, ages of believers have come and have passed away. And one day soon, um, it's going to be a time when God says, okay, it's time to bring up the dragnet and the earth will be harvested. And uh, all of the people will stand before God in judgment. Now, every one of us, not a single one of us, is going to escape the gaze of God's judgment. Now, if we're clothed in the righteousness of Christ, there's not one person, the Bible says that there's not one person that's righteous, not even one. You know, we're all sinners and we all fall short of the glory of God. So the only way that we will escape the judgment of God and become righteous is if we're clothed in the righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ. We need to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and that will bring um, the wrath of God to pass over us. And uh, we'll be welcomed, richly welcomed into the kingdom of God at the end of the age um, when the harvest comes great and small, everyone will stand before God and the angels of heaven, it says, will help God separate the sheep from the goats, the righteous from the unrighteous, the wheat from the tares, and in this case, the good fish from the bad fish. Well, what makes a person a good fish? Well, it's certainly not our works. I spoke about this on Sunday about grace. So it's not by works that we're saved. It's through faith in Jesus Christ. We're clothed in the righteousness of Christ. So, you know, I, I think as a church, this is a sobering reminder that we have very little time here. And the life that we live in, the flesh that we live in, um, we're given a commission by God to be ambassadors of his message of, of, of reconciliation. Not just pastors, not just evangelists, everyday people. You are placed in a certain part of your pond, I guess you might say, and you're, you're supposed to be concerned about the people around you. Now, I know it's really easy for us to get self-focused, especially in a consumer society like this. We are pressured from every side just to just think about ourselves. But God says that uh, you know, he wants us to have his heart and and. To have the heart of Christ is to have a heart to see lost people saved. And, um, you know, this place that 
those who don't have the sacrifice of Christ covering over their sins, the place where they're going is terrible. It's judgment. It's an eternal lake of fire. And we have to care enough to actually share the gospel with the people that God puts in our path. Do you care? Well, you know, there's a song by Keith Green that I always think about when I think about this whole subject. Don't you care? Are you going to let them drown? How can you be so numb not to care if they come? We just sit, sit back and keep uh, soaking it in. It's a sin, my friends, to, to be unconcerned with the lost around us more concerned about our own comfort and ourselves than we are about the state of people's souls that are going into a lost eternity without Jesus. So I'm just saying this to myself along with you. Lord, help us. Help us to have your heart for the people that you love and that you died for. Help us to be good ambassadors of your message so that we can share the gospel with everyone so that when the dragnet comes and everybody is taken before God in judgment, we'll see the kingdom of heaven populated by people that we have shared the gospel with. And that is the greatest reward. Lord, help us to be effective in our soul winning. Help us to have the heart of, uh, of, uh, of you, O oh God, and not to be hardened by the things of this world. I pray that each one of us here today would make this a matter of prayer. Ask the Lord to show you what he wants you to be involved with and how he wants you to be involved with the plan that he has to share his gospel in this area and also indirectly in other places in this world. God bless you. I hope you have a great morning. This is Food for Thought.